Welcome back. It's the coolest way to enjoy the magic of Disney right in your own home. It's Disney Fine Art. The Walt Disney Company licenses certain artists to create these unique pieces featuring their favorite characters. And this weekend is your chance to meet one of the most popular artists, Tim Rogerson. Oh, man, am I pumped. He'll be at the Holiday Food and Gift Festival today and tomorrow. And the, that's at the Colorado Convention Center. Yep. We're thrilled to have him on the show right now. And uh, along with Disney Fine Arts CEO, Michael Young. Michael, good to see you. Pleasure. And the <laughs> artist himself. Uh, pleasure. You've been blowing my mind all hour. The stuff <laughs> yeah. is so cool. Thank you. We all all of us at home to love Disney. When you were a little kid, did you love Disney too? And how did you get into the drawing? Matter of fact, uh, my, both my parents worked for Disney World when I was a kid. My mom was uh, a nurse at first aid. And my dad actually was a director for all the parades and the shows. Wow. So I was just completely spoiled by Disney. Matter of fact, Snow White was also my babysitter. Uh-uh. <laughs> pretty crazy. So. You lucky dog. In, in costume. Yeah. You're in costume. Yeah, right. You know how many men were, or guys are yeah. all wish that that was yeah. the case? I got <laughs> Ursula. I remember watching the parades just like going nuts That's when Snow White came yeah. out. also. Now, now, this is the thing. We know the Disney animators on the films are one thing. These right. fine artists, like Tim, are different. As uh, the sort of the curator of all of this, how do you select a fine artist to be a part of this Disney project? Well, that, that's a great question. There's uh, hundreds want to do this every week. Uh, we have a portion of the Disney animators that actually, and artists and concept artists that are on our, our program. Mm -hmm. And then guys like Tim and about 25 others that have a, their own unique style that we feel fits fits our niche. And yeah, we're all fine artists outside of Disney. We yeah, all have our, have our own got careers. A, everyone has a program of fine art and Disney fine art. And Tim style, you know, he does a lot of cubism and some do impressionistic work. Mm -hmm. So we really have to, you know, there's only so many places you can put the art in the True, world. True, right. So we, uh, we always keep our eyes open and we try to balance, the, balance it so an artist is, you know, able to tell a story with a piece. And it's such cool stuff right. because it stays true to Disney and yet it's something yes. different. It's right. interpretive so they get to yeah. add their touch and their feeling from a memory. Which is rare for an fun. artist to be able to take Disney and paint in, in their own style and actually sign their name at the bottom yeah. of the piece. Yeah. It's no, that rare. is really I cool. I love it. So yeah. we've looked at your stuff on your website. We've looked at it on YouTube. We each have our favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, Kathy, what was yours? Mine, of course, was Wicked Ways. Oh, yes. With the villains the in villains. Maleficent. Oh, man. Look at that. How beautiful is that? How thought, long did that take? The drawings oh. would took the longest time, and probably about uh, three months of different, of maybe 25 drawings all together. It's like putting a puzzle together. You yeah. know, each no, each villain is a, it's its own jigsaw puzzle piece, and you have to figure out how to, all these all these pieces fit together. And the colors, how the colors complement each other, and there's not too much purple in one area. It's, it's, it's right. just beautiful. It is brilliant. I love it. Now, me, I am and always have been a Mary Poppins guy. Yes. One of my favorite movies. And I love this piece you did because, it, com of course, the music's such a central part right. of it. You've kind of combined all the elements, yes? Yeah, my father's also a musician, and at nights when I would go to sleep, he'd also play Feed the Birds on the piano. So when I watch Mary Poppins, I instantly go back to my childhood. So I wanted to paint a piece that celebrates the music of Mary Poppins. No, it, you, it's somebody that loves Mary Poppins created that piece. Yeah. You can tell. It's you, beautiful you stuff. Captured it. Now, there's a couple ways to enjoy your work this weekend. We've got a gallery mm -hmm. in Littleton. Yep, right? Chancy right. Paintings. Tell us a little bit about that because the stuff is there at the store right now, isn't it? Yep. It's, it's there every day. He's uh, Enchanted Paintings galleries are representation of Disney fine art in the Denver area. Mm -hmm. And. Um, in touch, in tune with what we're doing, bringing in artists and, and, and touching everyone's life. Super informed about all of our artists and what we do every day. There's the one I like again. There it I is. Love it's that awesome. One. So now, Tim, a, you've been working on a Frozen painting. Yes. That's what we've been watching you upstairs doing. Yep. I just went to a Disney on Ice show with my daughter, and I uh, saw all the, all the characters came out after the show just to do, do an encore. And it's like, oh, all the characters together with the set pieces, uh, that'd be a great idea for a painting. Uh -huh. One piece that celebrates the whole story, which hadn't been done yet in Disney Fine Art. It so. looks, it's looking super cool. And it's really difficult because you've got to, again, get it all through all the, right. get the, the whole story. To make sure they're, they're all so I did a drawing a few weeks ago that, that got approved by all the creators of the Frozen film. Oh, wow. And now I'm painting it live here well, in Denver. we're thrilled to announce this. First of all, not only is the gallery a little bit awesome, but because this convention center event this weekend, you'll be on site right over at the convention yep. center. Painting this Frozen so piece. So folks can see you. That's the annual holiday food and gift festival. You're there all weekend long. You can watch him paint live. And speaking of, when we come back, we're honored. You've painted Mickey and Minnie uh -huh. in a Colorado landscape. Yep. No one has seen this yet. 
They're going to see it live on this show. Yep. Is that grand, cool? Grand debut, yes. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Stick around, all you Disney fans. We're going to see that coming up. I'm so thrilled to meet Tim here, one of my idols now that he can do all the Disney stuff and does it so well. <laughs> want to remind folks, why don't I give you the sketch pad re real quick? All right. Because he can actually sketch out a Mickey in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Like, go for it, my friend. All right, And while it. you're doing that, I want to remind folks, if you go down to the gallery there in Littleton, Enchanted Paintings, if you go there, the first 50 people in will get free tickets to the big event at the convention center. And, of course, Tim will be there all weekend long as well, uh, showing off his amazing, amazing Disney work. I just love it. Oh, Mickey is coming to life for sure. And, by the way, while he's finishing Mickey, again, you see behind him right there, he's doing that Frozen painting. Such beautiful stuff. All of this approved by the Disney folks. And even more impressive, here in Colorado, he's created a one-of-a-kind Mickey and Minnie in Colorado. Nobody's seen it yet. Hasn't been unveiled yet. That's so cool, man. Can you do this yeah. in your sleep now? It's, it's amazing. Mickey. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Oh, boy. Hey, you're better than I am. Uh, so can we, we're out of time. Can we unveil? Oh, yep. Here it is. Mickey yep. and Minnie Autumn in Hike. Colorado. Here we go. Inspired by Maroon Bells called Autumn Hike. Oh, it's available wow. this weekend as a limited edition G. Clay at the uh, festival. That is so cool. They're going to sell quick. It's only very few printed, so. Right there in the Free. room, Bells. Tim, you've got it, man. You've got the gift. Thank you Thank for sharing you. it with us. Check them out this weekend, both in Littleton at the Convention Center, and y'all have a great weekend.